So I'm starting a project I'm actually kind of excited about. Um, it all comes from the word sabotage. Back uh, during the Industrial Revolution, you may have heard of Luddites, who were English uh, textile workers who got upset when industrialized or mechanized uh, machines started taking their jobs. And they weren't upset at the machines, they weren't upset at industrialization, they were upset the economy changing and not taking them into consideration. And so what did they do? They broke the machines because the machines were enabling their bosses to fire them. It wasn't because of the machines themselves, it was because they were being fired. So, back to sabotage. In France, industrial work, well, pre-industrial workers uh, were poor and they made shoes out of wood. And the, Fre and the French word for a wooden shoe, like a clog, like you might think of the Dutch, but the, the French workers also wore shoes and they were called sabot. I probably can't pronounce that correctly, but S-A-B-O-T, sabot. And what they did uh, in France to protest the uh, coming of the machines was throwing their wooden shoes into the machine works and uh, breaking the machines with their wooden shoes. So they would throw the wooden shoes in and sabotage, huh? sabotage their, their uh, industrializing uh, factories with their sabot. So I am going to make some wooden shoes. A uh, couple of reasons for this. Uh, my shoes from last year were basically uh, lawnmower tread from a, a lawnmower tire cut into the shape of a shoe with a piece of fabric sewn over to make kind of like a clog type thing with a with a nice tread bottom. The cloth wore out after a year, so I want to make something that might be a little more durable. It might only last a year. I don't know, but I'm going to give it a try. Um, traditionally, there's a lot of great videos on making clogs out there uh, from modern and uh, not modern times. I don't have uh, the specialized spoon uh, chisels to dig out the inside of the shoe so I need to make it a little different way and so these are going to be what I call low-tech because uh, we are the Low Technology Institute low-tech sabot so um, low-tech wooden shoes that you could make with basic uh, woodworking tools not with anything uh, specialized um, and are they going to be as good as uh, Dutch clogs? Probably not. I don't have an entire lifetime and ancestry of hundreds of generations of wooden shoemakers behind me, so we'll see how it turns out. Okay, so what do I have here? I've got what will be the shoe. This is actually the front, this is the back, and so my foot will slide in. And the idea with doing it out of three pieces of, um, of wood is that I can cut out the shape of my foot I can then trace it onto here, make the footbed with a normal chisel rather than the special spoon chisel, and then I can carve out the top for what is going to be on top of my foot here, and then I'll glue them together using waterproof um, type bond 3, press them together, and then I will shape the outside of the shoe, which is the opposite of how traditional clogs were made, which is by shaping the outside and then digging out the inside. I'm going to do it backwards. And so this hopefully will end up being a very utilitarian uh, garden. Basically, I just need something to have by my back door so I can slip them on, walk out to the chicken coop, and walk back uh, without having to find uh, shoes, get them muddy, that sort of thing. That's, that's what these are for. So the first thing is to, is to trace my foot onto what will be the middle of these shoes. So, and I'm using my sandals as kind of a template because I want there to be a bit of play. You actually want wooden shoes to be a little loose on your body. Uh, you don't want them too tight. So I figure this will be a good template for me. So I've got a half an inch on either side, inch and a half on the front, inch and a quarter on the back. one and so this is probably a little sharp for that so I will straighten those lines out here just freehand I can always smooth it out later too because it's wood I can 
remove bits here and there with not too much issue. So now I'm going to cut these out with a jigsaw. So now I've got my color here, so this will all be cut out. Always helps to color on what you're cutting out when you're doing woodworking project, especially when it's a new one. You don't want to accidentally cut into the good part and leave the bad part. All right. This is my left.
now that I've been using them for a few weeks, um, I can report on what I think about them. And for the most part, I like them. I will say the wooden shoes are comfortable enough, but they're not that comfortable. Uh, they definitely catch the top and cut across the top of my foot. Like I can do a lot of work in them, but uh, you know, they'll probably be used for just kind of shuffling around in the garage, not for very active work. But I mean, I can do this. It wasn't that uncomfortable really to, uh, to scythe the lawn using my, wearing my wooden shoes. Um, if I made them again, I'd make this archway higher and so I could bend my foot more comfortably. But yeah, for the most part, I mean, they're comfortable to slip on and off. And I like them, they're kind of cool. So I'll keep using them. <laughs>